I'm Jeremy Wade with Balladville. Today I want to show you our RFID self-serve coffee solution along with our kiosk to recharge RFID enabled mugs. Validfill has been doing self-serve or controlled serve using RFID technology for the past several years in the soda industry, uh, specifically around the Coca-Cola Freestyle and Legacy machines. And now we wanted to bring that technology to coffee as well to allow self-serve coffee where it really traditionally couldn't have been allowed before. And it all starts with this RFID tag that we have that we program, Validfill programs the RFID tag with the company location information the cup size, whether you're allowed to have hot beverage, cold beverage, or both, the time between refills, and a bunch of other information on this tag so it works with our system. This tag is then sent to Whirly Drinkworks, our partner company, who installs the tag between the shell and the liner on refillable mugs so these can be used over and over again in a refillable self-serve application for either coffee or for soda. Now we also have the option of creating this tag in a sticker form for disposable products and if this works great for one-time fills or one-time use cups, it can be applied to styrofoam, uh, plastic, or paper. Now with this uh, self-serve coffee solution, we want to make sure we start with good quality beverage from the beginning. And one way we do that is, is we set a brew time onto the coffee dispenser. So let's just assume I uh, just finished brewing a fresh pot of coffee. I would take this brew card, I would put it on the tray, when I set it on the tray, it says brew time reset. It now says my brew time is 3.54 p.m. And the reason we do that is we want to make sure a fresh product is going to the customer. And you would then tell us how long that product should be good for. If you tell us the product once it's brewed is good for 90 minutes, we set it up in the system for 90 minutes. After 90 minutes, a screen will appear that says, please wait while we brew you a fresh pot of coffee. Uh, that way we're making sure we have fresh product going to the customer each and every time. Now, if I were just to walk up to the machine without a mug, press the pour button on the screen, I get a message that says place cup on the tray. If I were to bring a disposable cup without an RFID tag or any cup without an RFID tag, press the button, I get the exact same message. It knows there's not a cup there with a the proper RFID tag and it will not dispense. If I take a cup with the proper RFID tag and it has refills uh, on the mug, Come up here, press the pour button. It's gonna pour. It's telling me I have unlimited refills till July 15th, 2015. It knows the size of the cup and then shuts off before the cup can overflow. If I release my finger before it's full, I can stop the cup right there at that level. Uh, but if I continue to press and hold, it's gonna stop the cup before it overflows and still give me room for cream and sugar because we know the size of the cup. And we also know the flow rate of this particular machine. Now, if I were to press the button again and try to get more uh, beverage or more coffee, that's going to give me a wait time. In this case, it said wait one minute and some odd seconds. The reason we do a wait time is we want to encourage uh, the sale of as many uh, mugs uh, to help maximize your revenue. And to do that, uh, we want to eliminate sharing. A typical wait time is five to ten minutes between fills uh, to eliminate the sharing potential. Now, if I were to grab a, another valid fill mug with the, the RFID technology in and place it down on the tray, you can watch when I try to pour this one, I get a message that says, no refill, see cashier. This mug had two fills on it. I used both fills up, and since I used those fills, it will not pour any, anymore. That is where our kiosk comes into play. The customer would come up, set the mug on the kiosk. When they do that, it's gonna tell tell them first how many refills are left and it has zero refills left on that product. Now I have all the options available to me to recharge that mug. Uh, some of the options are I have on here, one fill for 99 cents, three fills for 249. I could change it into a day mug for one day for 399, three days for 1299. I could even do a 30 day mug for $30, encouraging that person to come back each and every day to that location. I'm just going to pick two fills and then I have to pick my payment method. I only have credit card listed on this particular kiosk. We can also do gift card, PayPal, uh, however many payment options you have. It could even be a hotel uh, room key association. There's a lot of different possibilities. Choose credit card, put my credit card in, swipe it. It's going to tell me my mug's been successfully programmed. So what we do is we actually charge the credit card 
first and then program the mug and then provide the messaging to make sure you're getting paid uh, for that transaction. Uh, refills remaining are two. It asks me if I want to email a receipt. If I hit yes, I can then email a receipt to myself, put my email in, hit next, and I would have that for my records. Bring the mug back to the coffee dispenser that we just were at, press the pour button, and it'll go at it and tell me I have, it tells me I have one refill left. It doesn't know the size of the cup. It's gonna stop before it overfills and gives me the fill complete message uh, on that particular cup. Now, each time that we dispense a product into a cup, we record that on a, on a web portal that you have access to. It will tell you how many fills went into each cup. It will tell you how many cups went to each machine, what time the, time the cup showed up at the machine. You'll know your exact cost of goods for that product. It will give you some smart data in order to uh, determine what your offer should be and what is the best way to maximize your revenue on this particular uh, program. We also have another feature, it's called Info Card. And the Info Card feature allows you to see a history on the mug uh, while at the dispenser. If I put, when I put the Info Card down on the tray, uh, it's actually gonna display uh, information for a mug. I have to put the mug on here. Once I put the mug on, it tells me what company it's good for, which location it's good for, the cup type, the cup size, the serial number, where it was bought, when it was bought, when, where was it used last, location where it was used, how many fills are remaining, how many fills have been on the mug. So you have a full and complete history on the cup directly uh, on the machine itself. Now all of this works in a, in a great program for self-serve. What we're trying to do is we want to make sure we reduce the lines in areas where you have a lot of coffee only business. We call it the look and leave where somebody comes in and they look and there's a long line. We want to have those coffee only customers come up and uh, be able to get their coffee and leave so that you get revenue for that transaction, which means that is all prepaid revenue. If I bought 30 days of coffee, you already got that revenue up front before that coffee is ever poured, which is a great thing to have in any location. We also are, this will also increase uh, loyalty to your establishment. If I bought a mug and I paid um, you know, $30 for it, whatever it is for 30 days, I want to get as much benefit as possible and that drives traffic back to your location day in and day out, which will then help with incremental sales, both incremental sales of the beverage of the coffee and also other incremental sales. As they're coming in to get their coffee in the morning, they're likely to pick up a donut or a bagel or a snack of some sort. And we want to make sure that, that you're capturing that revenue. And the last thing is, is that you have uh, the data in order to make smart decisions about how you want to maximize or how you want to change the program or modify the program in order to have the best potential possible. So if you have any questions about our system or would like to learn more, please visit our website at www.validville.com.